Hello my Ali Pallies and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm doing two videos in one. You're going to see them separately but I'm doing them together because I've got lots of new things to showcase you. So first of all I'm going to be starting by doing a first impression. It's kind of a second impression because I got it yesterday and tried it later yesterday evening just to give it a go. Um, so it's Laura Mercier and it's the Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. Heard a lot of good things about this and I'm starting to run out of some of my foundations. So I just wanted to try a new foundation. Now, um, it comes in 30 shades and they're graded one to six in terms of depth of colour. And they're graded also in terms of cool, neutral and warm. And I think from looking at the swatches and from what I've bought, I would say that if you've bought Estee Lauder foundation in the past, um, that you could pretty much stick to that. So in Estee Lauder, I am 3.1 W and I got 3.1 W in this one. So um, whatever you are in Estee Lauder, I think if as a guide, obviously check, but as a guide, if you're 2N1, then have a look at 2N1 in this. And I think you'll get close to what you need. Now, I also got to go with it, the Flawless Finish Makeup Sponge. Now, I have to say it's very expensive for what it is. Um, but I'm going to talk you through it because it's got its pluses and minuses. I still can't help but feel it's a bit of a rip off because it's £17 for a sponge. Um, but it does have its advantages. So stay tuned while I talk you through this foundation. Now, I am going to put a little bit of primer on. Um, but... Yeah, just to, but I don't have a Laura Mercier one. So I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury's Brightening Youth Glow. And I'll be right back. I'll right, just before I start putting on my primer, for those of you that watch my live on Wednesday, have a look at my hair because I've just washed it. And I've washed it in this shampoo. And this time, obviously when I spoke to you before, I told you I'd done a first rinse with, rinse with another shampoo. But this time... I just used this and look, it's cleaned my hair beautifully and it's shining. My scalp is not itching. Um, it's not flaking. It's fantastic. Um, and this was the one that supposedly Kate Middleton uses. It doesn't lather, which means it doesn't have anything in it that's going to dry out your scalp because things that make lather are also the nasties like sulfates and and stuff like that um so i did want to talk to you quickly about this it's got things like aloe in it yeah aloe um leaf and it's got it does have a bit of alcohol in it um but it's got flower extracts it's got camellia oil it's got vitamin e it's got vitamin c um <clears throat> so anyway see what you think i think my hair has never looked so shiny and I can't believe it's washed it so well given that it didn't lather. So yes really happy with that you can get it in Waitrose for $5.95 I'll check um, with um, the internet and see if you can get it in the US and internationally um, because Richard Ward is from Chelsea in London but I will I'll check that out and if you can I'll put a link below okay really good smells lovely too right let's get back to this video so the laura mercier foundation so it comes into uh, 30 shades and i'm about to put this primer on brightening youth glow by charlotte tilbury underneath um just to pep up my complexion And for the sake of using a primer.
So that's Charlotte's brightening youth glow. I've put a little bit around my eyes as well. So it tends to brighten around my eyes. Now, my first impression when I put this on last night was I couldn't believe that I actually had foundation on because it actually didn't feel like I had any on at all. And I know people are constantly saying that about foundations, but I've never had cause to say that before. And it was a little bit disconcerting because I kept thinking, oh, do I need to apply more? Because it really didn't feel like I had anything on. Um, which is a good thing, but it kind of made me feel like maybe I hadn't applied enough and I don't know because I'm used to feeling something so it is very now it has got silicon in it so it will do a little bit of it's not a water-based foundation um as most of them aren't but so it will do a little bit of filling into fine lines and wrinkles and I got this sponge to go with it as I said I'm going to wet it I didn't wet it yesterday um, but I'm going to wet it today and now this sponge is as you'll see it's curved it's got a curved end which means that you can apply it now it does fit beautifully around this eye area as you can see it's got a lovely curve and it does fit to the face. And I love the shape of it because it allows you to get into those nooks and crannies. Um, and it is, the idea is it says it's got an, um, zero cell technology that ensures minimal product absorption. Now, I haven't told you about the foundation yet, have I? I'm doing everything in a silly order. So as I'm applying this, let me tell you what it says. Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation delivers a perfectly luminous finish that looks flawless in any light. The weightless medium to full coverage formula looks and feels like a second skin. Um, improves skin's natural luminosity over time for lasting radiance, hydrates, visibly smooths and softens skin, provides 15 hours of moisturization. Now I'll just concentrate on getting this um, on the rest of my skin and I will tell you what's in it. Now it is a little bit yellowy on me, a little bit, but I am quite pale at the moment. Um, I may well have gone for the 3N1 neutral had I tried it in store but it won't be too bad once I put powder over it it's the right kind of intensity it's just perhaps a little bit too yellow which is often as you know what happens to me is that I've got an olive undertone a yellow undertone but it's not as yellow as is often in the foundation so the way I can solve that is putting a kind of more neutral powder. I'm not going to do that today because I don't want to put the one that I sort of neutralize it with is a is a powder foundation. If I do that, then you're not going to see this foundation. Um, so this is very good at sort of being able to dab it in because it really hugs the contours of your face. Can you see that? And then you can turn it round, you can get into the corners of your eyes. Um, the jury's out. It's not bad. I just think, my only criticism is that I just think it's a bit expensive for what it is. Um, you know, and I just found myself wondering whether or not I could cut myself something that shape. Um, there's no latex in it. I did check because I suspect i may have some degree of a latex allergy now i did feel like i wanted to build this up around the cheek area because i would say that this is medium coverage 
but it is buildable as you will see. So I'm just going back over the areas of pigmentation. Now this does say that it helps skin over time and like Charlotte's Magic Foundation, which has the same claim, it has ingredients that claim to help your skin over time. So sort of the idea is it's a kind of hybrid skincare and it will help your skin as well as make up your skin. Um, <clears throat> now I'm going to look at some of the ingredients in a second. So it is very luminous, covers the skin beautifully, but it still looks like your skin. The only thing I'm just feeling is that I'm not sure that it's very even and that might be this sponge. I keep feeling like I need to go over certain areas. But I think it's also because, as I said, you cannot feel like you've got anything on your skin at all. So for those of you that really do not like the feel of makeup on your skin, I don't mind it. I've, obviously, I don't want to trawl it on really thickly or anything. But I don't mind it. But I'm just going to put some around my nose like this. See what this is like with the fingers. And I think also what I want to do in the next few days is to try this with a brush. But this bit round my nose just feels like it's not been covered for some reason. <laughs> Definitely has a lovely look to it. Let me just take that down onto the neck. Now, let me see if I can see for you. So it's got silicone in it. So it's a silicone based um, foundation, as most are. It's got vitamin E. It's got hyaluronic acid. Um, it has got, let me see. I'm just reading the ingredients, but I might do a voiceover later with what they say is in it. Because I can't, I can't make out all of the ingredients. Um, yeah, that's, that's all. I mean, a lot of them are, I'm just looking, I think it's, yes, it's also got some vitamin C in it. So it's the vitamin C and the vitamin E and things like that, that are supposed to help your skin over time. But I will put in what they say is in it because I'm just reading the ingredients straight off the box. Okay, so I have looked at it and it does talk about vitamin C, which does have a brightening effect over time. And something called silver ear mushroom extract, which is supposed to help to soften fine lines. Now, it does remind me a little bit of the ingredients of Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Foundation, because hers also has vitamin C and some kind of mushroom extract. Now, the vitamin C in this foundation is a sorbyl glucoside, which is a very stable form of vitamin C. So, hopefully, it should be active enough once it's combined with all the other ingredients. So the problem with vitamin C is that when you start combining it with water, which is in this foundation, um, and other ingredients, then it destabilises it and becomes inactive. But apparently, a sorbyl glucoside is quite a um, stable form of vitamin C. So it's more likely to be active. Um, anyway, so that's, that's what's in the foundation. And it's very similar, I think, to some of the ingredients in Magic Foundation. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to cover that with some setting powder. And I think today I'm going to use my La Prairie instead of my Charlotte's one, just to show you that one, um, because that's also kind of got a luminous appearance to it. Or well, I'm just wondering, actually, no, what I will do, because I did put a primer under this, and you want to see what this is going to look like 
as it is as much as possible so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put on the rcma no color setting powder i'll just get that and i'll be right back because that will ensure that you see it as it is um i i will probably in over the next few days start using a kind of more neutral foundation over the top of this because i do feel a little bit yellow tell me what you think but for today so that you can see how this foundation wears i will use a no color powder i'll just get that okay right before there. i do that i'm going to just put some concealer on and i'm going to use some of my new double wear instant fix concealer so it's got um a primer at one end just to moisturize under my eyes and it does have a little bit of a brightening effect as well this serum and just dab that underneath i love the fact that this serum doesn't seem to upset foundation too much which is good because that it also doesn't upset the concealer too much if you need to add a bit more hydration later on in the day and as you know, when I go out, my eyes are water and then they dry out. So now I'll just put some of this and I'm using shade 3N. So this is similar shade to what I've just put on, but neutral, which will give me a brightening effect under the eyes. And I'm actually going to try and put this on with... Am I go I'm going mad again with this concealer. I've probably put too much on. Never mind. Um, I'm going to put this on with this sponge as well. Because it is very good at getting in there. And this end as well. It kind of, You can keep turning it round to get the best ends that apply for you. But this is very good. Really gets in there. makes it really really easy and you don't feel like the sponge is eating up half the product it kind of stays on the surface so in that respect, it is good. I just think it's very expensive for what it is. I'm going to put a little bit on my eyes as well. And down here, here, and a bit in the middle. The reason I put a bit in the middle is so that I can blend it along to cover that bit of pigmentation on my head. But if I just put it there, because it's a little bit brighter, it will look a bit strange. Also very easy for putting this on your eyelids because of the curve. So I do like the shape. And I like the principle. I just don't like the price. I think it's quite expensive. When you think that Laura Mercier does some other sponges in packs and they're a lot cheaper than that. Um, obviously, it's got some special technology in it and it's been cut in a certain way. I think I think £10 would have been reasonable or even 12 But I think... I think 17 or 18, I've forgotten how much it was now. 17, I think, is too much. Just a little bit too much for what it is. Anyway, right. So I'm now going to put my RCMA powder on. And then I will be right back. Actually, I will show you me putting the powder on. First of all, I'm going to put it under my eyes. Just so that you can see how powder applies 
over the top of the foundation. And then some on my eyelids. I'm doing this with a setting brush by Real Techniques around my eyes. And RCMA powder is brilliant for under your eyes. Very lightweight and not too powdery. And then I'm just going to pick up with a big brush and swipe this over the rest of my face. Now I'm going to put it over the entire face and set it because I want to see whether or not the radiance pops through. And also I've heard some reviews saying that if you have an oily T-zone, combination skin, it does start to get a bit shiny throughout the day. So I definitely want to make sure I've got powder down the middle. Now, you know what I do. If it defeats the object by putting powder on, to get the best of both worlds, to make sure that you set a foundation, but you don't make it look too matte, just give it a squirt with your setting spray and then it should bring the radiance back out now there's no radiance in the powder so whatever radiance comes through or the spray i should say will be from the foundation so i'll just let that dry down and i'll be right back as soon as it's dried okay okay so that's dried down so I'm just going to zoom in so that you can see the foundation and this is obviously as I said set with powder as you know and it really feels lightweight and it feels like I haven't got anything on my skin really feels like that more than any other foundation I think I've tried. So I think the glow is coming through and I think once that powder settles in, it will come through even more. So I'll be interested to see how this wears throughout the day. Now, when I come back, you're going to see a sneak preview to the next video that will be uploaded tomorrow, which is um, first impressions of some new Anastasia Beverly Hills products. So you'll see a sneak preview to what it looks like because I'm about to start this, that video now. Okay, so I'll see you later on for a check-in on this foundation and what it's looking like. And um, yeah, so see you soon. Hi everyone, so you're seeing a sneaky peek of what this, look, this uh, look looks like for tomorrow's video. So I just wanted to show you what the um, foundation looks like. Um, makeup applies beautifully over it um, so and I'm liking the look of it it's looking very glowy and yeah I've had this on obviously in the time it's taken me to put my makeup on so it's actually been because I was doing a voiceover and talking and stopping and starting doing the video the foundation has actually probably been on about three quarters of an hour to an hour now so um yeah so i'll check in with you guys later i'm i'm going to be popping out in a little while and i'll probably be um taking jack out so i'll check in with you guys later take care see you very soon bye bye hello i'm back now i've been out in the wind and my eyes have been watering and i'm very impressed um now this bit around where my glasses are they're never going to invent a foundation that doesn't go under your glasses but there you go like that happens to me all the time so perhaps a little bit around the glasses but the rest of it is still in place and what i like is the way that it's held the makeup on it doesn't the makeup hasn't budged and a lot of the time i have to say that my blush fades or starts to come off and it looks like i've just applied it that blush 
um so i'm very impressed it hasn't bunched around my forehead lines at all because sometimes that happens and i have to kind of wiggle haven't had to do that under my eyes where my eyes been watering it's not budged and it hasn't dried out too much um you know the only thing that i would say that i still prefer my mac one is because you can still see bits of hyperpigmentation popping through but that can be dealt with with concealer um but it's got a nice glow and the thing that i'm really get trying hard to get my head around is it really doesn't feel like i've got anything on my face no foundation at all and i've never said that about another foundation you may have heard other people saying it about other foundations but i've always felt that i've got makeup on and it does feel a bit weird when i'm out because it feels like i've got no makeup on apart from i could feel i had mascara on and jack is being very naughty pulling faces mm -hmm. um so i'm very impressed with this it's a lovely natural light um natural looking light foundation and i'll try and do a check-in later on um but for now we are having a snuggle and so i will see if i can check in with you later and i should say it has been about what time is it now jack about eight o'clock isn't it well, let me check so it's yeah, been about check, 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 check. it's been about six six and a half hours since i put it's, this on it's eight it's eight one oh one yeah so eight about one. six and a half hours since i put this foundation on so i think it's looking pretty good um so i'll leave you with that close up there what do you think about my face makeup jack my makeup does it look good does it look like it's worn off well out of a number i would say it's out of yeah out on of your 10 face. on all right on, but, out on 10. Any, but on anybody else's face it's 10 and out on my face it's what 50 oh, he's so lovely he's so lovely to his mum all right see you in a while hi guys just doing my last check-in for the night well this has been on a long time now it's now about 10 30 and um it's lasted really well i think you can see that it's held up really well it's not moved on my cheeks and i'm impressed by the way that it holds makeup on as well so i'm going to take this off and wish you all obviously my lipstick's well and truly gone and i'm in my gym jam so i'm going to take this off now and um, get editing this maybe putting it up tomorrow morning but if i can i'll put it up this evening but uh yeah so see you soon take care good night everyone